Terraria, despite being one of the most successful games of all time, didn't really have that much media around it for quite a while. This makes a lot of sense, as obviously before Journey's End, Terraria didn't have any official lore. There was, um, the Terraria trading cards, but they were obviously tongue-in-cheek. And the NPC quotes, but those were, again, mainly just tongue-in-cheek. So, really, you just had to create your own story, really. No real basic, yeah, no real narrative structure overarching, really. It's just basic game progression. You know, there are a few uh, lesser-known pieces of media that tried to work with this. I think The Legend of Max did it very well, but, you know, not much Terraria media. That was just the way it was going to be. I say there wasn't much Terraria media, I'm kind of wrong on that one. There was some trading cards, well, there was Steam trading cards, there are posters, and of course there was a, there was a comic, which was probably made by some... Uh, the 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 Batman DC. What? What? One of the most successful comic book companies of all time was was making Terraria comics. This this looks terrible. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I couldn't make any better, but like, it's still bad. I'll need I'll need to find a, a copy of that online at some point. Oh yeah, there was, also, there was also a TV show. Produced by Element Animation. Yes, THE Element Animation of Villager News and The Crack fame. Each episode is under 10 minutes long. There's nine of them in total. But there's only like seven proper ones for reasons we will get into later. She said she'll be right back. I'll show Is it wrong if I say I want him dead? <laughs> oh, never mind. Looks like the animators agree with me. Do you have a quieter table? <sighs> There's that skeleton voice for Bre Bre Bren Daniel. Harry Potter and the Legend of the Cock. So Bone Daniel runs up. I'm calling him Bone Daniel now. Bone Daniel runs up to um, the Retinizer after uh, our dipshit Terrarian hero accidentally chops the. Um, I don't know what you're going to call that. I, I I should remember my biology lessons. I, I I'm tired. Whatever the the, the cord. Thingy. It's not an umbilical cord because womb. The umbilical cord. We're going to call it that. And then um, spasmataz. Sp spasmataz. Jesus Christ! I I did I did not sleep tonight. I'm never drinking Pepsi again. That shit dehydrates you, man. Sp spasmatism. Yeah. Spasmatism fucks off alongside all of their eye servants, which again is a thing that the Eye of Cthulhu has. I'm beginning to think that they got the two mixed up. I'm not beginning to think that. I already know for a fact that they got the two mixed up. You are for destroy- Oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> so they basically have the worst dialogue ever written for like a few minutes. It felt like hours. And uh, because the, the old man tells them to go to the dungeon and do dungeon things. <gasps> You beat right now, so go to the dungeon. Our intrepid band of fuckwits decides to venture either east or west. But they end up in the forest. That's their first challenge. There's there's a slime. The guy who's basically got gold armor already has never encountered the, the first fucking enemy. Golden Dumbass meets the slime, calls it slimy, and then, like, he, he names it slimy. It's, it's obviously slime. Whatever. He treads on a pinky, and then the rest of the crew just fuck off and go into a cave. And then, for some reason, I guess because 
treading on the pinky made makes him better than the pinky, I guess. The uh, the king slime and the rest of the slimes, there's, there's a bunch of slimes, appoint him as some kind of intermediary between man and slime. After this, the rest of the team just says, fuck you, and goes on the ground. Well, the mo most of the cast, Bone Daniel, the pirate, the demolitionist, who for some reason is Russian and not Scottish, the, the fucking goblin tinkerer, who's, who's British. Uh, they really drop the ball on the accents. Um, uh, shit, why can't I remember the fuck? Witch Doctor! Radical the Witch Marie. Doctor <laughs> is here! Anyways, they go through the cave, they find a spider, they find two spiders, actually, and they're in a loveless marriage, and the... And actually, it's a somewhat funny joke. Okay, I think they might have had a, a the one joke that made me kind of chuckle. I'm so terribly sorry about that. My husband, he, he leaves these things all over the place. I'm so sorry, honey. Get back in the corner, you filth! Oh, I'm sorry. That's my husband. He, he doesn't do well around people. He has violent outbursts. So, the spider lets them out, and they repay the favor by blowing them up with dynamite. They finally find the dungeon. That's not the dungeon, that's just a... Is that supposed to be the jungle temple? What? Looks like a fucking Aztec pyramid. What's going on? Um, yeah, this is this is the dungeon, I guess. There's, there's no Skeletron, no. Meanwhile, so they finally have the twins. The twins have appeared. It's time to fight them. The twins are using their eyeball minions, which they don't have in the actual game. It's it's nearly Jova for our cast of intrepid fuckwits. But then, you know, they, they can't fight for shit. They're terrible. There's too many eyes. But then, right in there, coming in to save the fucking day is the slimes. Because I told you that would be important. Right, so they finally face off. And Slimy sacrifices himself by putting himself inside of the Goblin Tinkerer's cannon and being fired at the twins. Destroying the twins. Saving the world. Or shitty village, whatever. They walk up to the door and open it up, and there is... There's, there's no treasure. It's just corruption. Even though the corruption was presumably already in this world, because Shadow Scale. I, I assume that this was supposed to be like the ancient spirits of light and dark. There's a release when you kill the wall of flesh and enter hard mode. Was what they were trying to go for here. Or maybe it's like how the corruption spreads after you kill the wall of flesh. I don't, I don't know. But while the regular corruption from Terraria may be a horrific astral blight akin to the blasted heath of New England, the, uh, th this, this one's a lot worse. There's no treasure. Somebody just had bad gas. Who ate the beans? Fricassee, roasted, toasted. Enough! Food talk make me hungry! It, it's awful. It's all fucking awful! It's all of it, all of it, and every single one of them sucks! Su su Comeback element animation made Terraria series. Comeback, all is forgiven. Because uh, what, what turns out is that the first seven episodes were made and animated by Element. The episodes 8 through 12 animated by the uh, the company which makes the toys the terraria toys and it goes from 
terrible, not terrible, corny and silly terror animation to just a straight up ad. It's not good. It's all like a Fisher Price toys on meth. <laughs>